Hey, we back. I'm here on Karuda today where we're talking about idols, which is the big new thing. The big new thing indeed. I'm very lucky that it's come out only two days ago now. We're not particularly late and I happen to get my computer back just in time for it, which is fantastic, but it is a big update. It is about equivalent to dyes. I would say a lot of people have compared it to dyes, it's very similar to dyes. I will explain how it works. We're going to take a look at this announcement post first, uh, but these are your idols here. You get idols that look like people, look like this, and you roll them, you get one randomly, they cost 150 gems each. You can have a collection of them, same as dyes, you'll get a random one, same as dyes, and some of them are going to be worth more than others, same as dyes. They're mostly cosmetic, they're entirely cosmetic at the moment. Uh, it's like a profile picture, basically, uh, but in future they will do stuff. So let's skim through this, there is a lot of stuff. So we're going to take and pick and choose the bits that are helpful. These are idols, as I said. Uh, they are an engaging visual experience, which is to say they are cosmetic. Uh, but they will show up in many different places throughout Karuta's command responses in a similar way to your profile picture, such as when you do a dojo fight or a visit or something like that, which would have previously shown your profile picture, it will now instead show your idol. They've also been added to a few other places, uh, such as trades. When you type KMT, it'll show your idol there, which is fun. Just kind of put them in everywhere that's relevant, which is great. Uh, you can roll an idol with the idol command, which is K idols or K I C for short. I don't know why it's a C, but sure. I mean, it can't be K I, can it? Because that would be uh, inventory. So it's K C, sure. Um, I guess idol collection. That's reasonable. There you go, idol collection. Uh, and you can roll a new idol from there, which, like I say, costs 150 gems in the same way as dyes as well. With dyes, you can burn them to get glass, and then you can re-roll the glass into new dyes. You can do the same thing with idols. So if you burn an idol, you'll get a star, and with five stars, you can get a new idol. So if you get a bunch of really garbage idols and you want a new one, you can re-roll them. I would not recommend doing that yet, because we don't know which ones are the good ones yet. We will see what they do, because they will be doing things in future. Of course, there is some aspect of which one looks nice, and of course, that's what people are buying them for at the moment, which ones look nice, but also which ones are rare and which ones do cool things. There you go. So when you get your idol, we'll see it like this. You have rolled the idol. It comes with a little tag, same as cards, same as dies, things like that. Uh, as I said, burning it will get you a star, and it has all of these tags, which basically describe what the idol looks like in general. So for example, female, wow, it's a female, male, wow, it's a male, pink hair, brown hair, blonde hair, etc. Uh, some of them are more accurate than others. You will sometimes find that a tag has appeared, but you don't really see it. It's not, it's not super obvious. It hasn't shown itself because these are all uh, generated images. So sometimes it'll say that they're wearing a particular type of clothing, but they're actually just not. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but yes, in general, the tags describe how they look, and they don't have a fixed number of tags. Some of them only have four or five tags. Some of them have more like 15 tags. It is the tags, as far as we are aware, that will be doing things. So I would say that more tags is probably better, but of course it depends on the look as well and the rarity of the tags and all the rest of it. We'll get to that later though. Uh, you can view them with the KView command, same as uh, cards and dies, burn them, same as anything else, etc, etc. Uh, here's a list of where they're all active. Like I say, you've got um, stuff like your K reminders, KRM. It shows up in your uh, visits. Here we go, date interaction. As you see here, you get your profile picture normally here, but now it is instead your uh, idol. Same as under trades, etc, etc. So there you go. Good stuff. Uh, how many idols are there? This is an interesting question because there uh, isn't really a number. Like I say, they're all generated, uh, but at the same time they can sell out. So I'm not exactly sure how that works. Uh, but yes, there we go. Uh, how we've seeded stuff plan to release exact uh, data uh, behind these rates, so we don't know exactly how anything's going to be going. Uh, but in general, 
there's a lot of different things that can change. It's all going to be reasonably unique when you get an idol. It should be different from everyone else's. And um, they'll keep generating them, I suppose. Uh, this brings us on to how they're created. Because, yeah, they've got some reference models. But then they're just generated. Um, and they, like I say, they, they for some reason run out of them. But they will just generate more and then start selling them again. So that's all good. In the future, however, they are going to do stuff. Profile system. This is reasonably obvious because it's basically a profile picture. And they've been talking about the profile system a lot. This keeps coming up. So that's going to happen at some point. It's going to be linked into dojos and achievements and cool things like that. But the profile system is not out yet, so this is just another part of that. Uh, but as Craig says, they will be a completely standalone feature and they will give utility before profiles are even out. So that's cool. Probably similar to dyes. Dyes increasing the um, efficiency of workers slightly. It'll probably be something small like that, but we'll see what happens. It's apparently related to tags. Again, we'll, we'll be getting that. They're going to have a web interface, again, similar to dyes. You see why people compare them to dyes. They're basically just dyes, but spicy. Uh, to sort, filter, and burn them. Utility features. See, similar to dyes, how the style modifier works for your workers. Uh, because the, as we say, core functionality is cosmetic, uh, but there will be a, a utility for them. Uh, in the same sense of dyes. Dyes boosting your workers. When you die a worker, its worker effort will go up. Uh, it goes up extra with uh, mythic dies, and I assume this will be a similar thing with the different tags. If you have particularly good tags, it'll probably buff stuff particularly well. We don't know what it'll buff. It might be cards. It probably is cards, but I don't know, something. We'll see what happens. Many systems that can interact with it, so yeah, it, it could be anything really. Um, Affection, Cruda Studio, which is like um, sketches and stuff, dies. And then special tickets to grant players certain benefits, access to special events and more, which sounds fun. Don't really know what that entails. That sounds fun. Um, and then this is where they go on about genes, which is the tags that you get with them. Along here. And this is going to be what enables you to do that stuff. Uh, so like I say, the ones with lots of genes are the probably going to be the ones that are most valuable. Also the ones with particularly rare genes or tags. Uh, we'll get into what tags exist after we've been through all of this announcement. Um, this is where we get onto the, um, the, the new generation of stuff. Of course, they will keep generating similar idols for now, but in the future, they uh, might make new references and create entirely different looking idols and set up a bunch of them to be rolled, which sounds cool. So we'll see different types of idols. It might be good to have a couple idols of this variety, just so that when we get the new ones in, you haven't missed out. But of course, you can trade them just like anything else as well anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then we've got the pricing and availability. Like I said, it costs 150 gems at the moment. They may increase it. They say they're not going to decrease it. So again, it's probably better to roll them now while uh, the price is low. Of course, the price m might not go up anyway. And even if it does, it's probably not too significant. But yeah, there you go. Uh, and then they finally talk about the, the selling out thing. Um, of course, a lot of people are buying them at the moment because they're new. And so apparently they would sell out and they'll generate more. So there we go. Let's go and have a look at some idols, shall we? I'm going to be using Kit for this because they have set up a bunch of channels for idols, which is really cool. Uh, and as you can see, some tags are more common than others. We've got ones for hair color here. So this is orange hair and all the people here have orange hair and there's blue hair and go in here and they all have blue hair. And this is a tag as well. So you might find one that actually doesn't have blue hair, but it has the blue hair tag and that's why it's here. Well, they're saying that um, people in kit have been cross-posting them a lot. I keep seeing grey hair in the white hair channel. To be fair, there doesn't seem to be a grey hair channel, so fair enough. But anyway, you get the point. And you, you, you get ones with not many tags, you get ones with much more tags, so on and so forth. Um, and then there are some particularly rare tags. So here we have animal ears, which is like, you know, 
That's horns. Close enough. That's also horns. Pfft. What did I, what, what did I say? They're not very good at <laughs> putting them in the right channels. There we go. See, look. You get little Neko. Neko idols. There's elves, furries, horns, cyborgs, zombies. And then people looking for... Looking for idols that look like anime characters. Idol that looks like Himiko Toga, for example. Um, and of course, if you can... Pretend like your idol looks like a particular anime character, you can probably sell them a lot higher than they're worth. And because there are currently only cosmetic, people only are trying to buy them based off their cosmetics. We don't know which ones are good. Uh, but like, for example, if we look in these channels like we were a second ago, you'll see that these ones are going for, well, the price that they bought them for, or maybe a little bit higher. Whereas if you go into something like this, they're going to be selling much higher because these are the rare tags you don't see so often. Over a thousand gems. So that's cool. You get ten times your money if you get a good tag, but of course it's unlikely. So there you go. That's the, the kind of tags that exist. Most of them don't change them too much, but the rare ones kind of do. Cyborg and Zombie particularly change them a fair bit. Uh, but there you go. That's that. Um, I have rolled an idol myself. We can have a look at this. So here's my idol collection. KIC to run the command. Here's all the buttons. So you've got your list. That's where we are at the moment. We can press active to see our active idol. This is my one. It's got quite a lot of tags, but nothing special. No uh, fancy tags like zombie or cyborg or anything. But generally, I mean, four lines of tags. That's good. And there's a lot of um, emoticon ones. Smirking, blush, makeup. I don't know. Maybe they're good. Uh, there's the roll button course where you can roll for 150 gems or five stars i don't have any stars um, and then you can also select idols which lets you see them you can actually add custom tags to them you can set emojis for them uh, and of course you can burn them so there you go that is the tags uh the idol collection stuff at the moment there's not too much to it but of course there's not too much to idols at the moment it is at the end of the day very similar to dies although saying that when we go on the dies command we don't get an interface nearly as fancy as that so this is probably just because this is new so they're doing all the fancy stuff with it uh whereas dies not uh but it's basically the same functionality as dies we've got dollar signs in the start of the die tags and and symbols on the start of the idol uh, tags, codes rather, not tags. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. That's idols. That's what we're doing. That's what they are. I would recommend getting yourself a couple of idols because they are only going to go up in value um, and they will eventually do something. So certainly if you buy idols now and sell them later, you will make money as long as you can sell them. Because to be fair, at the moment, there are a lot of people rolling idols because they're new and most people aren't buying idols, especially if you just get a bog standard idol. The chances that someone buys it off you is kind of low. So mostly you're going to be buying them to hold them. Get yourself a collection of idols. I've just got the one. So I'm not really planning on doing much with it. I want to spend my money on other things at the moment. So I'm not following my own advice. But I do think if you buy yourself some idols, they will only go up in value. So if you've got some spare money lying around, I would suggest getting a few. Don't burn them, in my opinion, because we don't know which ones are the good ones yet. You don't want to accidentally burn one that ends up having a really good tag later on. That would be real unfortunate. So for now, just keep them. You can always burn them later when we know what they do and you decide that you don't like them then. So that's all good. And of course, if you do get a rare tag, like Zombie or Cyborg or something, uh, would recommend selling it, because there is a demand for them. Certainly, if you, if you get a good one, there is a demand for it. And there are some random tags as well that just get added onto other stuff, like Crown. You put a little crown on their head. I imagine if you get like a zombie with a crown or something, that's going to be worth even more than a regular zombie. Just for example, a uh, mixture of tags. I do wonder if it's possible if to get like a zombie cyborg. I would imagine not. But if it is, that kind of thing's probably worth a lot. Uh, you also get that some that are broken. This is something that I should probably mention. Some of them have uh, broken faces, basically where it hasn't rendered properly. And of course, those ones are more valuable as well. It's actually quite common at the moment, as opposed to getting the transparent morphs and stuff, which are very rare and worth a lot. Uh, getting transparent idols uh, isn't 
isn't that uncommon. Uh, so they're not worth that much. But certainly if you get something like that, it's also there. You can also sell it for a good amount. Anyway, that's idols. Uh, when we know more about them and what they do, of course, I will make another video. But for now, it's just a bit of an introduction to what idols are, how to get them, what the update notes is, what we know. So there you go, there's your idols. Anyway, I'll be leaving this video here. Bye!